Okay, what is going on, YouTube family? Finally, bat been a few, few days. I think three or four days since I uh, put out the last video. I just upgraded my complete ultimate ten to complete ultimate twelve collector's edition. So I've been having some trouble getting my sounds um, organized the way I want them, which is why it's taking so long for me to uh, to get back and start making some videos again. Um, it's still not the way I want it. Um, I think I know how to fix it now, but I just wanted to get into these new sounds and start working on more shit because I have so many new sounds now. I'm like motivated. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's make more tracks. So y'all are in for a lot of new shit. And of course, I'm working on my next project. I'm working with my buddy. To finish, well, we finished our mixtape. I mean, the buddy that I finished the mixtape with that's coming out very soon. Um, working with him on his next project as well. Um, so I got a lot of shit in the works, and I'm just trying to churn out, you know, a lot of beats, a lot of tracks, everything. See which ones stick to the wall and go from there, man. So right now, I started on one of the um, expansions. Um, Golden Kingdom expansion is the one that I've been using for I think the whole beat actually is I tried to stick to the samples and the um, the new presets that I got excuse me um, from just that just so you guys know um, so this is what I started with I started with the um, strong chords brass preset preset from the golden kingdom expansion and this is what that sounds like um we're also we're in d minor by the way i found myself using d minor a lot for this uh next album so here's what it sounds like <laughs> i just laid down some chords um, so we got D minor, you know, to start with, pretty straightforward. And then here, this is actually A minor, but I inverted the E. And then here we have F minor or major, FAC, I'm not sure which is which. Yeah, it's major, major, F major. Sorry, I'm still new to all this music theory shit. And then um, E, G, B flat, which I believe is... Is that E minor or E diminished? I think it's E minor. Yeah. Or no, E suspended, because I only dropped down the, the fifth. E suspended, I think it is. Don't quote me. So that's that. And then, of course, I was just digging through the samples, and I found some nice drum samples go through those one by one we got this uh this 808 here from the jacoby woodbine set and then coliseum snare here let me do this whoops then another snare from the chlorophyll drum set for bounce nice tight closed hi-hat a little bit more open hi-hat, but it's still a closed hi-hat. And then an actual open hi-hat. A percussion sound I found that I like. And then a few toms for a uh, drum fill. Oh, and then I ended up finding this clap. And I layer that with every other snare. Um, then we got the piano I added in. detuning on it and it's just playing the chords and then I just kind of lower it the different notes of the chords as it goes just to give it a little uh, different feel then I found a synth lead sound that I liked and I added this with some uh, pitch modulation And so all together it sounds like this.
Yeah, it's every two, so I need to do this. So this is... Actually in D to start with, so it goes D. And then A, but I'm gonna lower that an octave. So it goes D, A, and we're gonna make this unique. D, A, F, E. So it's in the key of F, this 808 is. So that's what it normally sounds like. So I try not to deviate too low or too high. Um, really, D is a, this D is about as low as this 808 can get without it sounding way, way too low and muddy. So now let's play it with it um, actually in key or in tune to the chord. <laughs> Sorry, I always start talking as soon as I try to load something up, but um, that don't work because it mutes my microphone while it loads up. So I'm just going to add some saturation, make this 808 stand out a little bit more. <laughs> sound of the tape more and we're just gonna go like this and have it learn the frequency <laughs> microphone or oh, actually no I can't do that I got motherfuckers sleeping here um, so I'm gonna just do this I want to add some warmth and shit but I'm not gonna do that until I can hear it over the loudspeaker I'm just gonna make it cut through on the headphones first <laughs> Let's actually arrange this a little bit. The synth can come in later. Um, I think I want this.
make this 808 hold. So basically, it stays only as long as the um, the note is held. That also allows you to do some pretty cool stuff too. Um, I'm just gonna go to pattern mode so I can hear it. I don't like it lower. I actually need to hear this in context to see if I want to um, change it or not. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do this. We're just gonna cut it at the snare. Same here. So that one's not at the snare. This one is, though. So on this one, what we're going to do is take it all the way up to A, the next octave, and we're going to double-click this and make it slide. Stop it at the snare, let's find out. No, I don't think it sounds good. This is copy and paste it over here, and transpose it to F and E, because that's what it was at before. So then what I want to do is go like this, and this time I want to slide it up at the end rather than down like this one does. Because then when it is up here at D, you know, it's sliding up to this E, and then it hits, so it's closer, it's not quite as drastic. It just makes it flow a little bit more smoother. fill section so that I can level up the um, the toms I know why these are so hard to uh, hear. I didn't tune them. So when you have instruments or drums or anything that has um, a pitch to it, you want to right click on the sample, 
edit and audio editor here uh, regions tab detect pitch regions so that's showing G sharp but this is not showing anything let me try that again nothing I'm just going to assume it's G sharp then go like this and let me hear it compared to um, the 808 Oh, you know what else I could do that might actually make it a little bit easier? What is this on? 10. It's kind of hard to hear the tone, so let me slap on... Um, and let's see what the auto-tune says it is. So auto-tune is showing that it is in A on this one. So yeah, I can hear that. Yeah. See? So that makes sense. Now we're just going to fix this with none, and we're going to do the same on uh, the low tone. Showing anything in the auto tune. Let's see if this shows. There we go. G sharp. So we'll go like that. Now let's check out this mid tom. A. So that's the easy way. If it doesn't work, sometimes you might have to uh, slap on an auto tune to figure out you can even use um picture it should show you it's kind of hard to read but it, it'll show you if you uh go into it maybe i'll do a video on that um so let's listen to this now that we have these all to their keys kind of want to um, pitch them now let's go D F or F and E
had um, some auto tune on my voice for this. Yes. Um, so we are in minor and D, and I want to hear myself for this, so I'm going to do this. Test. Yeah. We want this fast. Who want it? Who's up? Who's up next? Ne ne. Wow. Okay. Um. Shout out to uh, Roy Jones Jr. A king of being touched. King. 
like this. I'm just trying to get the, uh, the vibe of the track going, so. Oh, you know what it is. Let me put this first. You always want to put your auto-tune first in line. Well, maybe after the EQ, I mean, just to get rid of the low-end rumble. Um, I find to get rid of that, and it helps it find the, um, the tune that you're in a little better. But the, the compressor is kind of screwed with it.
That's me uh, finger drumming on my table. Every time I touch the mic, reflect on my life. Take the steps when I sit to ride. Everyone's dead when I hit them lights. Nobody guessed that I'd be this tight. Nobody dead to the death of death. transition all the way down. That's why it sounds so stupid. Every time I touch the mic, reflect on my life. Take steps. Okay, let me try that out again. Every time I touch the mic, reflect on my life. Take the steps when I sit to right. Everyone did when I hit the lies. Nobody guessed that I'd be this tight. Nobody left to the left that that. So, I got the little ID down. Let me take this off. Okay. Um, so, I got the ID down. Uh, you know. Don't know exactly uh, where it's going to go from here, but I just want to get that idea down. Um, what is today? The 20th. 620 D minor. Who's next? I just want to get a couple ideas down so that when I come back to this at a later time to write, um, I'll have some ideas, a place to start and get going. So, yeah, that's it. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. I forgot to change this to day four. So, there we go. Let me just do that. Now... At the end of the video, it's going to say day four. Um, sorry if you heard me chew that ice. It's my bad. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm going to have another video, and I'm going to put out a few more videos just to make up for the lack of videos. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Big Joe, 503 Recordings. Closing out. Stay tuned for the next one. Probably going to be a more emotional type beat. I'm, I'm feeling like that next. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe, motherfucker.